is tip number four, so don't skip tip number four, okay? Hello and welcome back to With The Tea. My name is Tatiana and on this channel we discuss growth, self-improvement, and business. So if you're watching this video, then you probably need to know right away what are the five self-discipline tricks or tips that you can do to help elevate your life. What does self-discipline really mean? Ability to control your mind, your reactions, and your emotion. Grab your tea and let's just get right into it. Definitely to eliminate all temptations and distractions. When it comes to temptations, it's very, very relative to who you are. So for me, I used to love to go to eat with friends, love to go to the club, like after. It was just something that I really love to go. I like to hang out a lot. Um, and I realized I had to cut some of that out um, big time because it was prohibiting my time frame to do the things that I wanted to grow on. I reached a certain point in my life to where I'm happy, but I wanna push forward and I can't keep doing the same thing. So definitely eliminating the temptations and distractions is tip number one. Moving quickly into tip number two. Tip, tip number two is all about creating goals and implementing systems. This is truly important because anyone can have a goal. For example, you want to have a house in 2023. You want to be better at math or you want to gain that new job. Perfect. Well, your next step is to implement a system. And with the system, you technically reach your goals without really knowing it. If I was in that position and I needed a new job, the first thing I would do is revamp my resume and apply to 10 jobs a day every single day make it habitual it just becomes you know inevitable that you will reach your goal same with any other goal that you want to achieve you want a house in 2023 okay step one what's the system that i need to put in place well we need to figure out how to get our credit score up or we need to figure out the loans that we can acquire or we need to figure out what you know the interest rates on this house are and that's the beauty of just creating a goal and implementing the system. That is, dare I say it, creating routines. I know you hear it all the, everyone talks about it. Everyone's like, yeah, you gotta put a routine in place. You have to put a routine in place. You do, you really do. Um, when I did, I noticed a big difference. It was like almost incredible the way my mind shifted when it had to it didn't have to think about certain things such as making my bed every day or glamoring up or putting on something um, nice or making my tea like I do every single day those are habitual routines that I created I create a day routine a night routine and a gym routine and for me that it just elevates my life and it takes my mind off of thinking about the little things and pushing yourself to think about the big thing. Tip number four is probably my favorite tip by far, the one that has changed my impact of growth and pushing myself forward times 30 is tip number four. Make your word your bond to yourself. And what that means is stay honed in on what you're saying what you say you're gonna do I know it's so easy to see your friends see your family and always agree and do things that they want to do I mean I was that way I go above and beyond for my family and friends I would just do the most for them but then when it came to myself and I told myself hey I'm gonna sit down and read 30 minutes of this book today ah, I'll do it another day or I will I'll write this essay today wait a minute, I'm constantly telling myself I'm gonna do something and I'm not doing it. However, if somebody else told me, hey, Tatiana, can you do this for me? I'm always, let's go, I got you. And that became the problem. I was not keeping my word to myself. Then thus, 
creating my goals so much farther than they are closer. So with that being said, whatever you say you're going to do to yourself, do it because your subconscious mind takes that in on a thousand and it keeps that and it was like this is what she wants me to do this is what she doesn't want me to do and it's its own thing so you have to play the game you have to play the game so that's tip number four the best tip i could like possibly provide you and tip number five is a great tip it is forgive yourself don't put don't build up too much and stay positive. I know um, for a lot of people that want to get things done or are under a lot of pressure or, you know, just have a lot of things going on in life and they're just trying to cross it out and, and get through it. It can be a lot. I understand that. So my tip to you that has helped me tremendously is be kind to yourself, stay positive and don't beat yourself up. I was that person too who if I didn't get that thing done today, I was at my throat at the end of the day. I was just like, you are not it. Like, what is happening? You said you did this, you did this. And I would just go in on myself and it didn't do any good. So now I just take it in and I think about the things I could have done better. I write those down in my night routine and I focus on the next day doing better. So. Never beat yourself up, stay positive, you got this. And those are my five key tips to self-discipline to help elevate your life.